All right, Top, there's a spike in violence across the district, but you don't need us to tell you that. Tonight we're going beyond the headlines, focusing on what's being done to fix the problem. Now, the D.C. mayor just brought in the feds to help, and tonight the head of the ATF in D.C. sits down with our Mike Valerio to talk about his game plan. It's a story you'll see only on WUSA 9. I uh, turned him around and got his ID. He took off and uh, started fighting with me personally. Fights so, with you personally, like hand to hand? Hand to hand, you know, took a swing. I, you know, took a swing and, um, you know, it's kind of one of those things. He's very fast. A Sean Benedict first started patrolling these streets 20 years ago, fighting warring gangs as an ATF agent. Now he's in charge of the agency in the nation's capital. This neighborhood uh, 20 years ago uh, wasn't what you see here today. It's a world of difference from what Ashawn saw decades ago, walking in Northeast around the Rosedale Community Center. But today's data explains why Ashawn is back in D.C. after he led the ATF in New York. We met for our interview inside this red area, one of the renewed flashpoints for D.C.'s 2019 spike in violence. Um, you have a triple homicide happening right across the street. I have asked for more patrolling of police in this area. Three weeks ago, the mayor brought in ATF to help. And here's how ATF wants to bring down gun crime. First, you need to know ATF has an unmatched scientific database for guns and ballistics. So if police find a gun in Southeast, the database can show if the firearm was used anywhere else. So it's not just a one shooting incident. There could be three potentially linked ones. Uh, we can get leads from those other shootings to perfect this one. In addition to that, we're going to trace that gun. According to a WUSA 9 analysis, the highest number of gun crimes so far this year is right here in Southeast. ATF says if it links a single gun in Southeast to other shootings across the city, the gunman responsible gets a steeper jail sentence. That puts repeat criminals in jail longer and makes the streets of the nation's capital safer. What do you think this town is going to look like a year from now? It's going to look even better. Um, we're going to do everything we can with the people we have and the information and the intelligence and the resources we have to make Washington, D.C. one of the best cities in America. In Northeast, Mike Valerio, WUSA 9.